Angela Rose here up on the Treasure Coast with the Treasure Coast Food Bank. See how things are going up there, Angela. You know what, Glenn, I got a chance to uh, show up here at the food bank in Fort Pierce a couple of days ago, and I was able to meet some of the volunteers here at this warehouse facility. And I can tell you, I learned that the work they do here, well, it helps the organization in so many ways. It's a busy day here at the Treasure Coast Food Bank Warehouse. Jessica Taylor Story says this is her first time volunteering. She brought with her friends from her real estate brokerage to help out. We decided this is such a busy time of the year that we wanted to pay it for it. Organizers say volunteers are crucial to the food bank's ability to serve the community. Last year, they had more than 10,000 volunteers who contributed 45,000 hours to their mission. That means that we can receive the food that needs to be sorted, have people here to help sort it, get it all um, categorized and put into boxes so that it can go out to our agencies as quickly as possible. She says the Treasure Coast Food Bank couldn't do what it does without their dedication. Taylor Story is glad to be able to help. I've been on the Treasure Coast for about five years now and I've always heard about the amazing things that the food bank does. So I was like, you know what? It's past due. We should definitely come here to help out and volunteer for the community. Officials say the amount of volunteers they have and the hours that they put in last year is the equivalent of about 25 full-time employees. So it's a cost savings for us to have volunteers here every day to help us do all the things we need to do in order to get the food out to people as quickly as possible. They're always welcoming volunteers to help in all areas. We have a lot of opportunity to work in the warehouse, but we also have other distributions that we do that we need assistance with. We also need office help. Um, if you have a skill, a special skill that you want to help share with us, um, we have a lot of skills-based volunteers. A lot of volunteers, a lot of volunteer hours, and they are always in need. And one more thing, Aaron and Taylor, I got a chance for, before I showed up here today, we, I saw a group of volunteers from WPBF. Hi, guys. Got a <laughs> chance to take some pictures. They're probably heading back to the station. I don't want to tell on them. Uh, maybe they're at lunch. <laughs> but hey, what a way to start your day, right, ladies? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. That's great. Love all those boxes behind you. Angela, thank you so much. We'll be checking in with you throughout the day. And our phone banks, they're taking calls right now, accepting donations of any amount. Yes, if you'd like to help the Palm Beach County Food Bank, you can call the number on your screen right there. You can also text if you don't feel like calling, the number is right there. And here is all the info if you would like to donate to the Treasure Coast Food Bank. Same thing goes. You can text, you can call, you can donate online. Our phone bank, though, it's open tonight until 6.30. Vanessa?